Welcome everyone to our after work highly adaptive, I probably need to change the slogan there, professional Linux platform here. Of course, not only do we love all CPU architectures, also most freaking C libraries. Today Musil, we had this of course built previously last year and previous videos. Um, but of course stuff breaks, right? And one even uh, pro tip, <laughs> I actually broke it myself, so welcome to the dumbest. Uh, open source Linux YouTuber live here on all of YouTube. Um, pro tip, um, pro tip 1000 something, I guess. Don't hard code the wrong things. Turns out um, I got here really strange um, build issues and uh, errors. And actually one um, part of this is actually my own fault. A rare occasion here on this channel, I know usually blaming everyone else, but no, sometimes it's even my own fault. So yeah, pro tip, don't hard code the wrong stuff here. So we had previously, we also we refactured this, so it was building last year, like Musil, and now it's building again. As you see, and we actually also wanna freaking release our T2 release friendly, our T2 Linux here, cross compiling everything. And um, we majorly refactured that, I guess in December. So you probably wanna share, like, subscribe, not to miss all this amazing content. And what we've done is we've, we've majorly reworked the GCC bootstrap because now we can also cross compile Objective-C and Fortran and Go and Ada. Only live here on this channel. And I hard coded here the wrong package. I, I probably like meant UCLPC. So what happened is uh, here in our package code and metadata, met, metadata and in T2, if you're new to our Linux distribution, our 20 year, anniversary Linux distribution. We prefer this stuff mostly codeless, but the, the more complex or more strange packages are the more code we need. So we actually, for GCC bootstrap, you can Google that build root and, and Linux and cross Linux from scratch and all this, this fun stuff. Actually quite some effort to get the stuff configured and built. And then you see quite some YOLOing and, and quirking and configuring. But long story short, also yeah, some stuff is, some stuff became extra complex. It, it was a little bit cleaner and easier before last December. The problem is that we need to bootstrap a cross compiler and the C and kernel headers and there is lots of chicken egg problems of for building most parts of cross cr building cross compiling most bootstrap parts like lib standard C++ and go and R and stuff. You need the C header and for the C, uh, C library and for that you need the first cross compiler. So a long story short, it's like we build basic compiler and then we build more and that complicates all the stuff even more. Like, anyway, so what I actually meant here, so until uh, until like today and, and still upstream in, in our sources, um, we have here if configured C library was glibc and this is of course false and wrong. And what this, um, because what we basically do is like, with UCLPC basically, yeah, this GCC and all its infrastructure, compiler collection and, and libraries is way too complex for UCLPC. It, it, a decade ago it built once with patched and configured, but who cares, right? You only need some basic stuff like C++ support. And this also broke Musil, um, because obviously then it's like, it's not GLIPC, then only build that and it's, yeah. Um, so yeah, pro tip sync, um, even I, well, I usually try to do this stuff here, working and most universal and generic, we, we support 24 architectures, right? This, this stuff can't be too bad, but yeah, I hard coded their kind of sort they're not really syncing enough. Pro tip, sync through your conditionals and not hard code the wrong stuff. Theoretically, we also need here diet libc, but I basically, of the few things I gave up is diet libc because this is, is too unprofessional, half-baked, not updated and patched and stuff. Anyway, but that still didn't build a really other strange stuff going on here. Um, I also needed, so what also happened, um, locale build issues, um, locale the um, localization glue. And so that still didn't build, so it, it was not only my conditional there. And what I do now additionally is, I never had to do that before. I probably will research that more, probably with a native build. So basically I will bootstrap that and have hopefully eventually soon, like in an hour, epic thread ripping it through all those package builds. And then see native configured what GCC does. Because what happens is, 
and I spared you the 20 minutes of trial and error and reading log messages. If you want all this raw stuff, leave in the comments below. I, I nearly went live, but maybe 20 minutes of poking in log files is too boring, but leave in the comments below. But what happens is that this errors out with like local underscore underscore local and other crazy stuff not known, because obviously we're not building for glibc. Um, Theoretically, I can even show you that. Do I still have that uh, not there anymore? I can also extract it quickly of download mirror G GCC and I get to the comments in a second just to summarize that here. And the lib standard C here has in configure some C locale. And so I'm not entirely sure because that built, I think it built last year. So, but what they basically do here is, I mean, you can specify this manually, which we have never done in two decades. Um, and auto is for Linux and GNU defaulting, also this is somewhere else, the locale. And uh, probably like here, yeah. So for Linux and GNU, so basically we defaulted to GNU and that currently, like today, does not cross compile for me with all sorts of glibcism. I'm not there. So I'm not sure if that is new GCC upstream regression because last year it built, so whatever's going on there. I work around this for today. I could patch that. I mean, we configure with T2 Linux stuff, so we would need to remove Linux. I think then it would fall through here to generic for now. To avoid this, this then build for me is like if not glibc then generic for now. I will later hopefully remember actually maybe pro tip I get to do right. Double check GCC lib standard C plus plus version three or what this is C local with Musil. With generic that builds probably we lose some features maybe but yeah. So that would be those fixes for GCC today. I also moved that code here uh, because as I said, previous pro tip, I personally prefer to in conditionals those either um, like usually error handling is first and because that is shorter, like if error something, because then you have a better overview, in my opinion, than when you have like a one liner at the end, like yeah, easy to overlook. And, not see. So this is why I, I move this up here to to better see if that is like uslibc then like short circuit that loops not C++ stuff. Um, just my preference. And then here's this locale. Also, this other stuff I think that currently also doesn't build. It might be that may So yeah, for now. I'm only wondering if maybe I'm not the greatest fan of last minute changes. Uh, maybe it would be slightly cleaner. I was thinking about that for a minute. Maybe I should check the comments. What do we have going on there? Welcome everyone. Uh, how are you all doing? I uh, hope you're doing fine as well. Get local and tease the data to work with. How do you get... Um, I don't use... Um, well, I don't... I use English, right? So C local. Actually, I think Musil has only does Musil not only have hard coded C UTF-8 maybe? Um, but of this stuff is like yes, as long as it's English and I can read it. I'm, I'm a simple man. Just give me readable English and I'm fine. Um, and preferable no regressions. So with making this easier, actually. Um, all right. So, Ader. So maybe it's a little bit cleaner to have that here, so that. This would be if that is not glibc, then do multiple things, which is, and also maybe we should do that at the end then. But yeah, if you uh, use this, I'm, I'm also not sure if I would want to use Musil. Um, I know Notech tried to do that. I, I think uh, the thing is for me, I want my stuff working, right? The last time I didn't even got Qt to compile, although well, maybe that is fixed now. Uh, all this stuff is two buildings, that is nice. And so, as you see, I waste already way too much of my time to patch stuff. And getting the basic system to work with Musil is one thing, but 
I'm not spending even more time of patching OBS and Qt and it's like yeah, this is why I'm actually mostly running a glibc just for the convenience and, and soon my own microkernel. But if you have additional musical stuff, um, also this tset data does is this tset data not compatible? But yeah, probably something we could theoretically research for another video. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we. No, no, I deleted this. Maybe should we have this glibc stuff at the end? Maybe. Oops. Does it make the most clean code of like all the generic stuff and then at the end some boiler plate of, yeah, but not that way and another. So that would be also good uh, that I just spot I copied the Fortran and nearly committed that. That of course needs to be also that this is remove. Add adder. And. As you see, recurring theme here that I still have, even with 30 minutes or so invested into this stuff, I still have a to do, but now I actually check most of so, so the libc. I hope that doesn't cause any additional regressions. And we have a win win a building that I had already one patch to delete core utils. And so that looks like this is super flu. It's not. This didn't apply anymore. Let's see what did we patch there. All right, we deleted that obviously. You. Ah, okay, this was GNU C of typed. Hmm. Interesting. How did this build? All right, I think that probably errored out with underscore underscore GNU, underscore underscore GNU C pre requirement stuff of um, undefined, I guess. So, yeah, let's commit that. This is why we actually built this. Um, Removed actually call you there call you thoughts um, obsolete and of course arsync uh, error use of multi version function with auto default. What the heck is let me check some uh get check some target attribute target default. Mm. Uh, okay, <laughs> one, one patch obsolete the next. I mean, what I usually do is to get a better overview how much is broken. This is not a library that other stuff depends on. So let's quickly touch that and let's see how much more that was x86 news. So, so yeah, that ah, 134. Um, I mean, we basically could, while we wait for that stuff to build, take a look at also how many drop frames. Hey, zero frames because we live stream over O2 LTE because, of course, the Vodafone Doxis today was too broken for what to be too embed. Yeah. The Vodafone Doxis experience. Yeah, while we wait for that, we can, of course, and should make the most multitasking time of seeing if we can fix that. So that is a recurring theme of one thing obsolete. Ah, this is a maybe iFunk uh, is not support. Ah, okay. Um, then let's see, we somehow need to disable that. Okay, cool stuff. Mm, so probably nobody tested this with anything else in glibc because why should normal maintainers do that, right? Uh, we have that here of x86. Let's okay, mm. it expand somehow, I guess, because mm, where was it even something something I found. Um, so AVX. This is of course the hand optimized um, assembly stuff used. What do we extern attribute? Uh, if they have used roll ASM else, cool readable stuff, isn't it? Um, yeah, in general, I'm not the greatest fan of this hand optimized SIMD. In my opinion, compiler technology should by now be so advanced that vectorization is nearly should be nearly as good as that. Mm. OK. 
können wir somehow. Okay, so who stuff is maybe use roll as MD. Uh, there is some why does this test this tests relatively early for uh, what Fun one. Ah, this is in configure as edge for some reason. Oops. So they have here roll as IMD. Where is oh, yes, enable with um, so rolling checksum is on decommodation test failed. Hmm. Maybe the test for a slightly different thing, and so maybe we did I copy that with Wayland? We could hard code that to T4. Where we have sorry, some some stuff. Most architectures and cross compile. Um, SDE, CFG, Lipsy, oh, Lipsy. Maybe Lipsy. Then Maybe we use the same style like that, so glibc or and let's sort this a little bit so you know recurring subscribers already know. Huge fan of beautiful code. And I sort this here by um occurrence and like how it is used and, and so on so first this configure stuff like and, and then additional flex maybe even um, would actually say this shouldn't necessarily be needed should we actually try um, actually we also don't really need this comment do we Yeah, something failed. Cool. Of course, stuff fails. Let's um, see if that works. Arzing and what's going on with Mesa? All VM. Ah, oh, okay. Um, I just touched over that probably because I previously. This is also ah. I wanted to the way use multi without a default. What uh, if you this uh, if you can't actually? I think I copied that wrong. I think I wanted disable. And yeah, I did. Let's see if that fixes this thing. I also think uh, what was all ah, right. So this was LVM Clang. Uh, let's double check with sorting by log size. It's probably yeah, LVM Clang, just those two. LVM. I just skipped over this because previously I wanted to see how far the build. Oops, I think I. Did. What did I just delete? 
Uh, yeah, I deleted or I didn't want to. So yeah, ProTip reads this stuff you. Uh, ah, CMAC. Um, okay, so this YOLO Arzing um, and Mesa, let's. Is that just. Yeah, LVM. So. Ah, darn. ProTip. Not too fast, otherwise. No. Anyway. Um, so LVM that unfortunately builds, <laughs> unfortunately, right, epic thread wrapping through that um, on this 1550x in probably five minutes or six or seven. But yeah, even even for me this is annoying, right? The, the build times, but at least we have other to commit. Um, yeah, so that that is a problem, right? I I I uh, I'm aware and and suggest that. Sorting all of this is not the best idea if you add like one thing. Um, the difference is so for this, I if this would be glibc or gcc, I would or Linux kernel, I would probably avoid committing this like this because this is neither like it's a nice package and a nice program, although it's written in C, but otherwise it's nice. And at that decades ago, a novel algorithm and data transfer mechanism, but it's not like glibc or GCC or Kling, this is why it's not a super primary, like everything depends on the package. So I commit this exceptionally, but otherwise, like if, if I would build a space rocket or a uh, self-driving car or stuff, then I would definitely not commit this in one thing, but sorting first or at least separately so that regressions and testing and stuff and review. But this is neither self-driving car nor is rocket engine and stuff so um, yeah but otherwise leave me in the comments below if this triggers you if I, I should stick to even more pro tips and, and my own tips of committing so separately so um worked or actually I wanted to double check that this is really I mean it, it worked so it probably should be the right um, user config option it should be a yeah, SD config libsyn user, yeah. That quirked rsync, or should we call it hot fixed latest rsync version to build um, hot fixed latest rsync version to build for. Uh, Something like that, or other things. So that is again. So that is odd stable config. Yeah, this is plus there, and you see that is a problem of code preview. Right? This is why I'm not the greatest fan of that uh, mixing all of this. Actually, well, actually, we should mention um, sorted. Disk yeah, I guess something of, of that sort. Oops, ah, darn. Did I this is actually we should be online, right? Yeah, we are online. So this is just um actually planned docs so uh, we can let's let's better save that. That is my own fault. This is just some yeah. Live streaming way. <laughs> over LT. So it will be online in a second so that we can delete already. And um, yeah, I guess then we have, I mean, except as per usual, right? There's always one more thing, unfortunately. That, that is really, uh, you really, um, it, it would really mean a lot if, if more share, like, subscribe, Patreon, GoFundMe, and all those fun stuff because. 24 freaking CPU architecture combinations are really a crazy amount of stuff of vintage and retro abundant stuff that few people few other people patch and keep going because um, of course there will be still a handful of not only one more thing but probably a handful of 
tiny little things. I already built most things. Uh, so it's the last days, obviously. Actually, I, I rebuilt already three times because always testing, testing, more testing, what ADM. And now we have GCC changes, so theoretically, plus a new Linux kernel. Um, what was the risk five stuff? Yeah, also Firefox broke again for most architectures, even more than it previously was, because of course it does. I'm not even sure how I should, I mean, I'm, uh, yeah. Don't you want to share, like, subscribe, recommend it to your friends and family, neighbor, and good stuff, because, <laughs> oh man. Um, yep, I'm doing so, uh, no, ko, no, 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 ku, no, 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 asks, yeah, doing this as an open source project on my own for, because obviously someone needs to maintain 24 architectures. Yep, T2, just freaking raw, mostly vanilla Linux um, open source project there and live now live on YouTube. And uh, yes, we do, sir or oh, madam, whatever you fancy. So commit this stuff here now that we have Doxus cable again. I probably need to have even more amazing fail-safe fail uh, internet reset there. So yeah, you can play along there, download that, uh, send patches. Um, or YouTube membership. So LVM, that uh, should be done soon. Then we see if Mesa builds and then we have only a handful of more. Where do I, all ah, right, oh, my, my phone is here, let's see. Uh, there and uh, right, we could commit GCC and GCC. So let's guru meditate shortly uh, about typos and glibc. Does it look like that could break something else? So there is only if not glibc, then no other and. C look here. I guess that probably should be all right. So fixed GCC. Um, how should we new GCC bootstrap? Um, I mean new since December, right? I mean theoretically, should we look up the uh, should we look up the revision? I mean we probably still have a minute for. LLVM2 build um, that probably should be this was December so that's like at least I think it was December hey something LVM ah, awesome. so we know in a minute whether Mesa will build now um, so somewhere like December, middle of December. Yeah, here, but further, yes, yeah, so that what's this? Uh, fixed um, non GDC, GCC boot. Aggression since. Um, Philips GCC bootstrap regression sense. Um, I guess that is precise enough, isn't it? And also this able and it's generic chaos um, for those for Muso. I guess that is good enough, isn't it? Fixed non GLPC, GCC bootstrap, regression sense, revision 54,730, and also disable error in use. 
we are making progress. Yeah, with Firefox, I'm not even. Yeah, I'm. I'm not fixing. I'm not fixing Firefox. For, I'm, this is so. This is so depressive and uh, unnecessary. Is it even? Um, in, in which way even? Uh, why did this fail? What? Why did this fail? Uh, Doxus Internet too shitty to con What the heck? That comes from. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, hello, Internet. Doxus. Uh, we are still live streaming via. Maybe let's not DNS over. Mm, hello, Doxus, Vodafone. Thing lights up though. Well, ah, okay, can commit this later. As long as we're live. So yeah, I'm not making this bullshit of a non-working infrastructure fail. That is Vodafone's toxic garbage here in Berlin. Yeah, the, the center of also yeah, no, this doesn't download because. Uh, anyway, um, I guess that is a good point of calling it a day. Then, if internet is too broken for your downloads, then uh, what? What is? I, I anyway need to leave. So. Um, family's waiting. How can that not work though? Um, that is that is insane. Why does the internet light of this bloody Doxus modem light properly like it is connected when it's... Uh, what? It is working but just so bloody slow that it's as slow as a V90 modem? Oh, come on. You're drunk. It is hilarious. Um, yeah. Don't don't delay. Cancel your failing Vodafone Doxus shit in Berlin today. It's it's so sad. It's hilarious. Um, I probably should channel bond this with some LTE. This is so hilarious. Um, did this download? Hey, something downloaded. Hey, 19. Wow, this is less than V90 speed because it is. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hilarious. Anyway, I hope you learned something. As usual, don't forget to like subscribe. And uh, Patreon membership and similar good stuff. And we have released soon. Um, I guess we also have tested that enough. I mean, of course, except the Musil stuff. Um, all right, we could use the last minute. One more thing to check what's going on here with this Risk Five stuff. All right, there. I kinda okay. Yeah, this is, I, this looks to me also like a bin utils regression. I mean, the new, I'm very, very sure this worked before. I'm, I'm like 99.99% confident. We have a similar regression to for Grub, even for Risk Five. Um, I mean, maybe that could be work around it with supplying additional ABI variants of. I am A or so of atomics and whatnot. Um, but yeah, similar to Firefox stuff, right? Bin utils, previous video update so broken that PowerPC fails. I mean, PowerPC 64 Little Indian, the latest and greatest of all the IBM, greatest IBM stuff. Risk Five fails. Um, and even Grub. Um, for risk uh, five, what have I? Oops. Uh, risk five. That is, is, is some I fence, I think. If I recall. Cool. Oh, this is Firefox. Uh, yeah, Firefox also. Yeah, previous video, I get Firefox to work on risk five. Of course, I need to break it upstream with. Uh, also wrong. Stop, stop, stop. Oops. Um, yeah, one, oh, this is, maybe this is building, what I really also need, maybe this is rebuilding, I, I think I wiped all the builds like two days ago and rebuilt everything because testing and more testing and changes. But what did I want to say? Yeah, Grub um, and Firefox 
you port you you spend days and weeks and evenings and nights to port stuff and make it work and stuff and then the the big Mozilla gods and other open source um, celebrities break it for you again. Um, yeah, I mean we need a kernel, right? And we need the bootloader. So as maybe we actually need to revert bin utils. It probably doesn't make the most sense. I mean, very theoretically. I mean, you know, I could even live stream it. Um, uh, we will. We will see. I need to go. I mean, very theoretically, we selectively reverted bin utils for PowerPC64 due to PPC64 leave failing. We could do the same for Risk Five, so that we use the latest bin utils for all architectures, where it's like for 20 of the 24 architectures and downdated, reverted, overlay it for PowerPC64, Risk Five, and Risk Five Sixty Four. Um, that way, we would have the latest and greatest for most architectures for some fixes and features and the non-broken version for all the others are yeah with firefox this yeah it's it's frustrating it's it's really frustrating if not depressive at least all the other stuff is building so that's certainly something uh, including noodle will be interesting to see what people will download for playing along at home. That's it for the video. I hope you learned something and see you next time. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow for more fun stuff and checking bin, <laughs> reverting bin utils for us have to come.